Hi, I'm Jason. In this video, I'll show some examples of simultaneous move one-shot games. Consider the following game between two players deciding what side of the road to drive on. They can drive on the left or the right. If they both drive on the left or right when they approach each other, they'll successfully pass. If one drives on the left and the other on the right, they will crash. What are the Nash equilibria? If driver two drives on the left, driver one can either successfully drive on the left or drive on the right and crash. They would choose to drive on the left. If driver two drives on the right, driver one can either successfully drive on the right or drive on the left and crash. They would choose to drive on the right. Similarly, if driver one drives on the left, driver two can either successfully drive on the left or drive on the right and crash. They would choose to drive on the left. If driver one drives on the right, driver two can either successfully drive on the right or drive on the left and crash. They would choose to drive on the right. We can see from the matrix that there are two Nash equilibria. The Nash equilibria are left, left and right, right. If both drivers are driving on the left, neither has an incentive to change their strategy. If both, both drivers are driving on the right, again, neither has an incentive to change. The next game, called Matching Pennies, involves two players, even and odd, who each have a penny. Each player must select one side of the penny and simultaneously show the penny to the other player. If the pennies match, even wins. If they don't match, odd wins. What are the Nash equilibria? To determine this, we work through the matrix as we did in the previous example. If, odds, if odd shows heads, even can either show heads and win or tails and lose they'll choose to show heads. If odd shows tails, even can either show tails and win or show heads and lose. They'll choose to show tails. Similarly, if even shows heads, odd can either show tails and win or show heads and lose. They'll choose to show tails. If even shows tails, odd can either show heads and win or show tails and lose. They'll choose to show tails. There are no pure strategy Nash equilibria for this game. For any combination of heads or tails, one of the players would want to change their choice. There are what are called mixed strategy Nash equilibria in this game, but mixed strategy equilibria are beyond the scope of this video. Consider the stag hunt game between two players deciding what animal they will hunt. Both hunters need to cooperate to catch the stag. They can catch a hare by themselves but it provides less meat. What are the Nash equilibria? If hunter two hunts the stag, hunter one can either hunt the stag and catch it or hunt the hare and catch it. They would choose to hunt the stag as it gives a payoff of three compared to one. If hunter two hunts the hare, hunter one can either hunt the stag and not catch it or hunt the hare and catch it. They would choose to hunt the hare as it gives a payoff of one compared to zero. Similarly. If hunter one hunts the stag, hunter two can either hunt the stag and catch it or hunt the hare and catch it. They will choose to hunt the stag as it gives a payoff of three compared to one. If hunter one hunts the hare, hunter two can either hunt the stag and not catch it or hunt the hare and catch it. They will choose to hunt the hare as it gives a payoff of one compared to zero. The Nash equilibria are stag, stag and hare, hare. On either pair of strategies, Neither player has an incentive to change. It is an open question, however, as to which Nash equilibrium might emerge if they were to play the game. The final game I will consider in this part is the public goods game. In this game, each participant is given an initial endowment. Each participant secretly and simultaneously chooses how much of their endowment they wish to contribute to a public pot. The money in the public pot is multiplied by some amount and split evenly between the players. Typically, the multiple applied to the plot pot is greater than one, but less than the number of players. For example, five players might each be given $10 with the pot doubled. Suppose they each contribute $5 of their $10 endowment to the pot. The $25 contributed to the pot is multiplied by two to give a total of 50. Each player then receives $10 from the pot, giving them $15 in total. 
In Nash Equilibrium, in the public goods game, nobody transfers anything to the pot. Any contributions are split between all players. So if there are more players than the multiple, which is normally the case by design, contrib contributions result in a loss to that individual player. Consider the previous game. But this time, player E contributes nothing. There is then $20 in the pot, which is doubled to $40. The pot is then split equally between the players, with each player receiving $8 from the pot. The result is that player E is better off having not contributed, ending with $18, compared to the $15 they would have received had they contributed $5 like the other players. The Pareto optimal result, however, is for all players to contribute their full endowment and each receives back their multiplied contribution. The Pareto optimal result is not stable, however, as each player has an incentive to defect and contribute nothing.